Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 17 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Before we start, I would like to remind you to please like the videos that you really like the content of, and please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. And please leave a comment below and let me know what you like, what you don't like, and also what you want me to talk about in the upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's start with today's topic, which is keeping your focus when you are working from home. The previous uh, video was about how to keep your focus in the office. Now we are going to the home setting. So I already gave some tips that would apply also to working from home. If you're curious, go watch that one first and then come back to this one when you're ready. My first tip for you is to commit to working only during your work hours. Many people have this, this problem of um, yeah, ending up overworking and being on constantly because their, their workspace and their, their otherwise living space is the same place now. And that creates this confusion in our heads. And that also makes us sometimes have our boundaries blurred between our work time and our private time, let's say, or non-work time. So you need to make extra effort to emphasize that your work hours are your work hours. And after that, you're out. Just like you're leaving the office, you're out the door. This is also, in a way, the same thing. You just turn off the computer and you're out. So please don't forget that working from home does not mean working whenever. It's basically applying the same schedule to basically doing the same thing at home in just this setting. Another tip is um, to use white noise or other types of, of sounds or music that are geared towards helping you focus. This one does not work for everyone. It certainly doesn't work for me most of the time, but for some people it works really well that that white noise or, or um, those types of music that are made to help people focus. So know that you have options to try to bring back your attention. Another tip, which is linked with the, the first one I mentioned, use your workspace only for work. So try to have this designated place only for the work time, work hours, that also make it nice that, that you, in a way that you would like to sit there and then do your work. But on the other hand, try not to go there once your work time is over. Try not to do other activities there. And once again, this kind of room separator will be very helpful because once my work day is got done, I just close this. I don't see my desk anymore. Uh, it's just gone until the next work day. Another one of our problems when we are trying to work from home for some of us is that we, we lack that accountability. We don't have those colleagues around us anymore. We don't have people to have coffee break with us and then go back to work with us. You know, that, that kind of collective rhythm of working together. So you have to do that all by yourself. One thing that works really well for me, is uh, finding another sort of accountability on the days that I need to work from home. And I am using uh, a website for this and an app, and it works wonders. And I love being there. Um, I have been a part of that for at least two years now. 
and I would like to share that with you. It's called Focusmate. I will quickly share my screen to show you how that looks like. Okay, now you can see my screen. This is my dashboard on Focusmate. Um, these people with little stars are my favorites, my favorite accountability partner. So when I really enjoy working with someone, I give them a star and I try to book with them later on. Basically, you go here, you select a session. This one is 25 minutes long. You can choose that to be 50 or 75 minutes long. And the longer the session, the longer the break period as well. I usually go for 25 minutes because my attention span is really short and that's the most I can do most of the time. So I try to book several sessions back to back. Um, and I let Focusmate to find me partners. I'm already matched with some people, as you can see. So this is how it works. And per week, I think you can uh, use this website for free for three sessions. And after that, you need to start paying. Or if you keep it for three sessions per week, that's, uh, that will be free for you. Start paying for this one because it's only $5 and it's, it really helps. And after a while, you start making friends on this on this platform. It's amazing. Now I have uh, a friend in, in Berlin and we talk about like other stuff when we first uh, get matched in a session before we start working together. Oh, and by the way, I didn't tell you how it works. You book the sessions, you get matched. Once the time comes, you click on it and you get in this uh, space basically where you need to keep your camera on and the other person keeps their camera on as well. And you just work together while doing separate things. You can mute yourself. You don't have to be engaged in, in what they're doing. The idea is that somebody will be watching you in theory and you them. And that, that helps you motivate a bit that helps you okay I said to this person that I will do this let me just finish and I will take a break afterwards that really helps okay and now time for the last tip which is if working from home does not work for you on that day or ever feel free to go somewhere that helps you can go to the public library you can go to a cafe you can go to all kinds of places where you can have this white noise or some some dynamic movement around you where people are yeah out and about doing things that can also be very helpful when you find yourself oh, i really cannot do anything today mood okay so this concludes our 17th video together and 17th podcast episode as well for uh, productivity tomorrow i'll be back with another tip until then mind your own revisions